Yeah. 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 <laughs> what the heck? Fresno for you guys, Fresno. All right. What the hell is this car doing? Driving on the wrong side of the road. Welcome to Fresno, people. <laughs> We're on the server on the day. I just felt like taking it. A nice strap. Someone lost a nice strap to uh, hold something. I could use that for my bike. So it's been getting really cold the last couple days, and today it just feels hot. I'm already sweating. All right, we got here quick. Not too bad at all. Woo! I heard a clunk in the front. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was. I'm going past people so fast. They can't even see my YouTube channel. That sticker's not doing anything. I gotta go slower around people. <laughs> gotta let them see the, the logo. One thing I need to do for this channel is I need cards. I definitely need business cards with my YouTube name on them. So many people, like when I talk to them about doing YouTube, they're like, oh, what do you do? And then they ask for the name. And some people come back when I see them again and ask for the name again because they forgot. And I get it, I forget a lot too. So once I can uh, get some business cards, get some more people checking it out, especially people that are like local, you know, like in Fresno. Ah, California law. You know, the one thing that sucks about doing that is uh, cars are hot as hell. Every time I pass cars like lane splitting, I just feel the heat from their motors. hell are they doing <laughs> we're at 78 c on the motor so we're good am i gonna make it yeah, yeah sweet let's go see if the back way is open man so much clicking on this bike she needs some tlc Oh, I think she's been washed in a really long time, too. Is it open? Is it open? All yeah, right. What's going on? There's a bunch of yelling. I'm going to hit you. <laughs> What's up, Eddie? It's basically a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. You want to try it out or what? What's up, gang? <laughs> you want to try it out? Sure. All right. All right. Let me reverse. The door's already open. I'm not going to rip it. Well, that's what you do, Vinny. You're the ripper. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not used to this thing. Yeah, let me take this off just in, just in case. But yeah, it's, it's all the same. Nothing's changed on it. The brakes are a little weak. Just keep that in mind. And then, is this, if I pedal it, will it? No. Get, it won't, and then, 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 oh, it's a regular throttle, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you rode it before, right? Oh, yeah, I rode it. <laughs> this thing's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's nasty. And this is the second person I let ride my 72 volt Suron. My other one was my friend Sal, but I turned down the power. Woo! <laughs> That's the fastest one? Yeah, I told Vinny be careful on that thing. Why? You really need a helmet for that one, like no joke. I, I, this, he's only the second person I ever let ride this bike just because it's so dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It pops a wheelie real quick. Oh yeah. 
You could pop a wheelie probably doing 30, 40 miles an hour if you wanted to, if you don't have your uh, weight put forward. Look at he's at least smashing. <laughs> This How fast did you get it? Oh, cut. this thing's gnarly. I don't know. It's fast. <laughs> it's, fa it's fast. It's real fast. Yeah. I didn't even get. I I didn't give it everything it had. Yeah. How fast did you go up to? That's fast. I've 70. got it to seventy-five. It, it's. You it's, do need a helmet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's, <laughs> and it's quick too. It's real quick. It's just instant. Yeah, it is. It is instant. Oh no! Hell no! Yeah, that <laughs> All right, man. Let me get out of here. Take care, man. All right, you too. Yeah, buddy. Man, guys, the e-bike community is pretty, pretty dope. I hit up this guy. He has this crazy ass Super 73. Let me turn this down for you guys. All custom, he even has an RX. It's all custom. Ooh, that car's smoking over there. Hey, that car is definitely smoking. Oh. So I hit up to this guy and uh, he's like, oh cool, I watch your videos on YouTube. I was like, oh, that's pretty sick, man, that's pretty sick. But he has some custom uh, ZX and RX, you know, Super 73 bikes that he put a, you know, a hub motor on it, like from an Onyx, like a QS205. And we started bullshitting and talking and I really want to get his feedback on how he does everything. So my thing is, I know you can buy the hubs on their website i think if you do call them you can customize it to a rim i don't know if they supply the rim i never did give them a call but i thought about if i got another bike and this is just hypothetical i'm not saying i'm going to do it it's just thinking about it is if i got like a zx that i had that has no tail light no headlight something basic and put a rear hub motor on it with a laced up super 73 wheel Still keep it a fat tire and uh, do like a 3,000 or 5,000 watt rear hub motor and go to 72 volt. Get like a Sabaton controller. I'm curious on how easy it would be once you have the rear hub laced up to the rim because all you need after that is a controller. The hub is going to connect to that controller. And then I believe either the hub. It's the hub or the controller. I think it's the controller. It comes with a display and a throttle. So that's already like done for. You just run those wires and uh, it should be plug and play. The hard part would do would be like adding extra stuff to those wires. You know, if you want a headlight, tail light, stuff like that. But I just want to get it like up and running. I don't care about the accessories, but I just want to get something like that running. So I wanted to ask him a few questions about how much like he would charge and how much it would cost to do like a rear hub motor already laced up and get it shipped to me if it's something i decide to do down the road i just want to really get an actual idea of what all this stuff is going to cost because as of right now i have no idea i know the qs uh 205 motors i swear i think you can get those for six to eight hundred bucks or something like that but those aren't laced up to a wheel or anything. So I don't know, I'm, I'm real curious. Because I don't know how to lace a wheel. I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna take it to a shop locally and they not know what they're doing. So if I can have someone already do the rear wheel and everything like that and basically explain it to me and be like, hey, look, buy this controller for it. You're gonna have to plug in, you know, these phase wires, this, you know, negative and positive wire. And then, you know, to do your accessories and stuff, you got to do this. But the main part to get it up and running and powered with the battery, obviously you need a custom battery, but I feel like the battery is the easiest part. You just need to say like, hey, I'm doing a 72 volt system and bam, you just need the wire, you know, like positive and negative off the battery and stuff like the connection. I don't think the battery would be hard. I think it's the controller and the hub and making sure it all fits on the bike with a tire and all that stuff. That's the hard part to me. I would love 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 to have a, a zx that does like 50 miles an hour that has like a pillar crazy like cool and stuff like that you know because i love the super 73 bikes so maybe down the road you know my youtube's going great if i can keep this up you know we can only go up from here so i, I hope we can keep at it but yeah i really wish i knew someone down here like Close to Fresno, even if it's like two hours away, I can drive to them 
and they would already have something ready to go and they can like put it on my bike within that same day just drop it off have it done you know i, I could mean i could get the battery i can do, get whatever i need but like someone who can make the stuff freehand i pay them already and then in one day they can put the hub on get all the electronics uh, running and stuff like that like the throttle the power you know the bike moving even if there's no lights or anything to it yet something i would definitely do that modifying these bikes i think is one of the funnest things like modifying this bike was like i loved it you know i still love this bike because you took a bike that's not supposed to do that it's like that's how i took my honda civics and you know all my other cars that had 200 horsepower and i made them have like 600 horsepower and then people don't expect it and it's different it's one of a kind that's what i like i hope you guys can hear me because it's windy as hell but yeah so drop all your stuff in the description i'm really curious to see you guys build if you have a video on your builds if you guys know of youtube videos that actually explain how people you know purchased this hub motor and then they got it laced with this wheel or they contacted this company and they did the whole rear setup for them and then what controller they went with and then how they connected it like i really want to not like uh like a real detailed how-to video but like something that kind of shows like the basics of like okay you get this and these wires are going to go here and then you can get this up and running what the heck wow fresno for you guys fresno i think we're in the top 10 for the drunkest city i believe and i think we're up there for the like most accidents too so all you guys that come at me in the con comments dude look at this guy i just want to like zoom past him because i don't trust him Damn, we got home so damn fast compared to a Super 73 or the Aerial Rider. So I think I'm going to start riding the Aerial Rider a little bit more because a lot of people are loving those videos just because it's so new. Well, I have the version 1, but everyone's waiting for their bikes because they haven't got them yet. So everyone's watching every single video because they're like hyped up. So I need to make some more like hyped up videos on the Aerial Rider get everyone pumped but i do believe they started shipping out i really do believe they started shipping out let's go down this way i don't really go this way too much so i'm really due for a group ride with like my me and my friend sal but i think he's out of town um but hopefully uh hopefully me and him can get get together like after like this next week or something or i'm hoping in two weeks I'm hoping we could do a group ride or maybe I'll hit up my buddy Ben uh, that has a motorcycle and maybe I could do a ride with him or something. I just need to do a ride with someone else on a bike. I don't care if they use my bike, that's fine. It's just so much fun like when you're riding with someone else. It gets a little lonely. It's like cruising on Blackstone here in Fresno. You know, you, you just, it's fun to cruise with other people. It gets kind of boring if you're by yourself unless you have someone riding passenger with you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. They are like taking off most of the time, except that one Onyx video only got like 200 views in a week. I don't know what the heck was going on with that, but now we're getting like a thousand almost each day. So it's pretty good. Sorry guys. Don't forget to leave a Super 73 uh, comment or a video to something you're building or something that someone else has built that actually kind of gets into their setup and what they did and kind of gives you a run through because i'm really trying to get some ideas so i'll see you guys in the next one later